Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? Um, it's Peter once again. Um, I'm really not used to doing this too much. This is a double shot. Um, I normally do not shoot two videos in one day, but just so happens both of the knives that I purchased last week landed and they are both here. And I am chomping at the bit. I am going to try and get through this smoothly, comfortably. Um, I tend to get overly excited uh, with my cutlery. I am extremely, extremely passionate. And when I get these knives, and when I break them out, I come back from the mailbox, and I do what I got to do with them, I just get that gosh darn feeling like no other. Um, and this happens to be one of these situations. Now, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to get excited, but... I'll do the best that I can, guys. You know me. You use 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 exactly know what I'm about by now. Um, this is the case um, canoe. It's the pattern canoe. It's the vintage stag, and I never seen this knife before. Okay, I've never seen it before. As long as I've been running around and chasing these uh, canoe pattern knives. This popped up on, oh my. Oh, uh, what was it? G not GP, um, hold on guys, give me a minute. Um, oh yes, DLT Trading, DLT Trading. Man, they got some good knives on there, man. Don't, stay away from DLT Trading, guys. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Furthermore, shh. Man, they make Blade HQ look sick. I put a little something in the bottom of the comment when I hit add to the cart. I asked for a couple stickers. Huh. Hooked me right up. You never get even a sticker from Blade HQ. Okay? Now, do you want to know the money I spent at Blade HQ? Go ahead. Pull that, pull that uh, invoice up. You just want to fall on the ground? Huh. <laughs> I think I'd fall on the ground if I went to Blade HQ and they pulled up my invoice on every purchase I made from them over the past. <sighs> Guys, it's been a long time I've been buying knives from them and every other company as well. But you know what? Let's give DLT a plug, man. That's a good, that's a banging up company there. I like DLT. I do like DLT. Anyway, I found this one on um, DLT Trading, and I am a big case canoe uh, person. This is the pattern I collect. Um, other than um, the copperheads. Copperheads come in first with me. And then these little guys right here are number two. But when I seen this on DLT Trading, I almost, I went crazy, okay? First off, I've never heard of vintage stag or vintage anything. Let me put this down for a second. Bear with me, okay? Make that look all propped up and cute. This, they come in a nice fancy box here with a slide cover, okay? Check that slide out over there. Uh, the back is nothing but the thing. But anyway, compare this box with the other boxes that you normally get from Case. This is, I guess this is a, steer, a series, vintage. I guess you could type in their vintage knives because they all, they're all not going to be stag. I mean, maybe, but... They probably have a whole section of just vintage knives. That's cool. I'm going to look into this. But that's the box, though. Um, and 
I know, guys, you're probably waiting for me to open it, but I do not want these blades to rub. Yeah, I know, I'm a sissy. Then you get that blade rub and you get all pissed off. Um, there she is. Let me try and get around this camera here. That is the case. Oh, man. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Let me give a little... Let me give a little wipe... A, a little wipe a roo as uh, my dad would say. A little wipe a roo Okay? So that's that. And um, let's just focus in on... Look how deep that stag is. Look at that stag on how deep that buff stag is. Now, when I, I showed my wife this, she was like, whoa, look how thick that is. Now, it's not even, you know, some people would get all upset with that, that that piece of stag, that piece of bone there is that much thicker than this side. It's not uniform, right? That's not a uniform piece of stag. Well... What are you going to do there? I don't really, I mean, okay, that's, so that's that. I don't care about that. But I was looking at the blade. Messer, HQ, Tobias, all you guys, please. I'm trying to, I'm shaking. I'm trying to give you guys the best shot that I can for fit and finish wise. I am not seeing a whole lot for right now. The, um, the grind lines look pretty, pretty good. I mean, acceptable to me. I mean, I'm not really gonna, but it looks good. It, it was a good one that I found and I was scared to death because all I'm seeing are these videos of all of my friends putting these videos out on case knives on their fit and finish problems. Tobias just shot his video on his mini uh, canoe and how the fit and finish was terrible on that. Messer HQ just got a, a wreck of a knife, man. He ordered the tribal lock, um, the chrome vanadium tribal lock, and his was big time jacked up, man. And he's pretty, you know... He's pretty easy going, but he was hot, man. He was pissed about that piece. That came jacked up. And I was, I'm waiting for this piece to come through the mail. I'm like, here we go. I'm dropping a hundred bucks. I just dropped a hundred bucks for this piece. And it's going to come with blade rub. And it's going to be, all, I couldn't even sleep. But this is acceptable, I guess, for case quality knives. This is acceptable. Um, what are you going to do? I'll look it over more. I'll clean it up a little bit better and look it up, uh, look it over a little bit more. But right now, I'm telling you, that's a case knife for you. You're not going to get no better than that. You, be happy with that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah. This is the case uh, canoe. Um, like I said, DLT trading, man. And this is the canoe pattern. I really do like it. I really do enjoy this pattern. I am trying to give you guys the best look of it that I can. I mean... I like these bolsters. I like these line bolsters. It means a lot. You can really see it, you know? It's really, uh, it's a really sharp piece. Can't get over that stag. I really can't. Um, fit and finish is okay for me. I mean, that secondary pen blade there is a little sluggish yet. I got to flush the pivot out, uh, uh, flush that a little bit more, because that's a little slow on the, um, the closing. That's the only thing that I could tell right now.
Guys, please let me know what's going on with this guy here. Um, I am not going to, I don't think I'm going to be shooting any more video. Well, I've got plenty of stuff to, to show you guys, but I don't think I have any new pieces that I'm going to have coming in because I'm just burning through. Guys, let's face it now, all right? It's one thing to have a hobby that you enjoy and that you love, but like I said in the last video, you got to put the brakes on at some point or another. You know, when the wife... I told you in the other video, my wife really don't holler or not, but you could tell when she gives you them eyes, it's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, and you're walking through the kitchen with the, we all excited with your, with your, uh, with your little, with your little presence, oh man, and she's just looking at you, and she knows how much those knives are, man, she's not dumb, she knows exactly what's in them packages, you know what I mean, and it's like, uh-oh, I think I'll go upstairs now. Let me pour a glass of iced tea and go upstairs. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stop it now. Come on. Stop. Anyway, yeah, no, I, no, guys, I'm over here in a 4,000 square foot house over here. Come on. It's not cheap to live where I'm at. <laughs> it, it's not cheap. I got, a, I got motorcycles. I got all of my stuff that I, like I said, I'm not complaining, but this is all stuff I got to pay for. I can't, you know what I mean? The money ends. The money goes bye-byes or stops sometime. My wife, God, for God, God bless her, she's got a dynamite job. I mean, banged up job. I won't really say right now. You know, we try to keep our, that stuff private, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, please let me know what you guys think about these two pieces that came in today. And um, I'm at the limit, guys. I am at the limit. Let me know if you just want to see this um, knife again. I'm going to shoot two of them again. Because I got things I want to do. Slicey dicey, my man. Yo. Put an edge on this. Yo, this thing gets sharp as hell, don't it? Yo, I was calling this Vanex the whole time. It's Nitro V. I, <laughs> it's Nitro V. And I'm walking. I did the video and I was saying, yo, this is Vanex. Where did I get Vanex steel at? Can somebody tell me why I was calling this Vanex Steel and not Nitro V? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm telling you I am. Please, I'm losing my mind. All right, guys. Drop me a comment, please. I greatly appreciate it. And um, I don't know. I'll see you guys real soon. Um, take care, guys. Be safe. Take care. And uh, yo, let's buy another knife. No, I'm only kidding. Later, guys.